Hey guys, I am currently walking into the Dollar Tree. I am going to set myself up for another challenge this week. I've just been inspired to create. Okay, got my basket. And let's see, so I don't know if it's just my Dollar Tree, but it's like Slim Pickens here. I'm looking for the larger frames and <laughs> everything is out. Um, let's see, this is here. Good one. Hey. These little guys might work. I was actually looking for the bigger ones. Oh, I think I see the bigger ones over there. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do really beautiful and super easy minimalistic art using dollar store frames and just some paper and plaster. All of the products that I'm gonna be using for this project are purchased from the Dollar Tree. So let me start by showing you what you're gonna be needing for this project. So at the dollar store, I picked up four of these um, four by four frames, which I think is a great buy because they actually have real glass. A lot of the other frames I've seen at the dollar store have um, sort of like a plastic or plexiglass. My plan is to do a quad of various artwork using plaster. If you love Pinterest just as much as I do, you can look up plaster art and see um, so many beautiful photos that can give you some inspiration um, for this project. So. In this project, I'm actually just going to um, randomly do things. This is sort of more abstract type of art, so you don't have to have any level of skill. Um, this could be your first time working with plaster and you will be okay. So no worries if you've never worked with plaster, if you're not an artist, I guarantee you that you will still create a beautiful um, piece of art. So, so you will need um, a frame. Um, I've already had this, but I picked it up at the dollar store some time ago and I still have almost a full container left. Then you're going to need some poster board. So I already, I already have some remnants of some poster board. Now this isn't the foam board. Um, there's two types. So you want to, you want the one that's almost like cardboard. It's kind of like a hard cardstock. So you wanna pick that up from the dollar store. We're gonna be cutting these to size. And then you wanna pick up some um, painter's tape. Now, I did not get this at the dollar store. Um, you don't really need it. I just like really clean edges in this um, particular design that I'm going to do. So if you don't have painter's tape, that's okay. And then all you need is a couple of little spatulas. They have these at the dollar store. Um, you could also get them at any craft store, Michael's, AC Moore. Um, these are just inexpensive little plastic spatulas. And we're going to dip it inside the vinyl spackling and create some artwork. So the first thing you're going to do is undo your frame. You wanna pull the tabs back and pull out the black, um, the black backer. And you also wanna remove the little piece of paper that's there. Keep the glass down. You're not gonna be needing to take the glass out for this and just set your frame and the backer aside. Now, I already cut my post board and so I'm just gonna be working um, with this little square piece. I have just a pencil here and I'm gonna line it up to the corner here and I'm just going to trace a little line because we're going to cut this and these are gonna be our little templates for our artwork. I wouldn't suggest using the foam board because it'll be too thick and you won't be able to close the frame correctly. So then with scissors, you're just going to cut out. So you kind of want to mix it up so that it's nice and smooth. All right, I also have a protective surface. I just bought a dollar store um, plastic tablecloth. And I'm going to go ahead and tape off my, I'm gonna go ahead and tape off my little square. So there's our little square. So now we are going to grab some spackle. 
about that much. Just set it down in the center. And just like you're icing a cake, you just wanna smear it around. Now you guys don't have to follow my format. Um, you guys can obviously do whatever you want because this is abstract art. I mean, I even just love like these forms. I just love how plaster just is so silky and has such a nice matte finish. Um, but for this one, we're going to make it even all the way around. So I'm kind of just pushing, pushing the plaster so that it's even on all sides. So I feel like it's a little light right there. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit more and just kind of fill. And you wanna just push down to just create that nice smooth line. All right, that's as smooth as I'm going to get it. So this is a serrated little metal rib. I got this from a craft store. You guys can use a comb. If you have a comb, you can use a comb. You can use an old toothbrush, whatever you'd like to create texture. Um, go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna show you. Go ahead and do that. I'm gonna show you what I did to recreate the little picture. So basically, and you don't wanna take too much time figuring out your pattern because this dries really quickly. So you gotta move rather quickly with this. So I'm just going to set it down there with both hands steady. I'm just gonna push it back in one full sweep, kind of like that. Now I can see that I didn't have enough plaster here. So this is what I mean by making sure that your plaster is even. So I'm going to just scrape off and I'm gonna redo it. So see, there's no, there's no real wrong way of doing anything. You can always just add more. So let's do this one more time, making sure that your, making sure that your plaster is evenly distributed. I'm doing this really pretty pattern that I've created using this metal rib. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place my rib nice and steady with both hands and my elbows are kind of down on the table. If your arms are up, you're gonna get crooked lines. So if you want straight lines, you have to kind of stabilize your hands and we wanna just push the product back. Like so. And that's it. You'll have extra on the comb. You just wanna put that right back inside the container. And you want to immediately remove the tape while it's wet. And you wanna be careful um, to pull the tape straight back. You don't wanna lift up. You wanna pull the tape straight back. So let's go ahead and do that. And so there we have our little peas. I think it's so cute. Now this will dry in like 10, 15 minutes um, and then we can put it in the frame and I'm gonna show you how I did the second piece of art. So now I'm gonna show you how I did this little guy. Again, you can freeform this. This is all about using your imagination, being creative. Okay, you guys, so for the next dollar store art piece that we're going to create today is a bubble vase. A previous DIY video, I created a bubble vase um, with many challenges. And so this time I'm doing it a little bit differently. I have chosen to recreate it using dollar store items, not clay this time. So what you're gonna need is like a fish bowl. This is glass from the glass section at the dollar store and pick up some of these beads. Doesn't matter what color because we're going to be spray painting it after that. I got about three bags worth. 
I don't think you're gonna need all three bags. It all depends on how much texture you want. I'm basically gonna go all around the entire bowl. You also wanna pick up a glue gun and a bag of glue sticks. And just to cover your surface, I have a dollar store little plastic um, tablecloth and some um, paper plates just to protect um, the table from glue. You can use the acrylic paint that's in the um, craft section of the store. It'll work just as well. But I am going to do this textured um, Krylon paint in the color sandstone. And this has a little bit of a grit to it so that it looks like stone. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is um, make sure that your glass is free from any debris. Um, I went ahead and removed the sticker that was at the bottom and I just gave it um, a quick spritz with warm water and some soap. So now we are ready to start adhering the little marbles. Well, they're not really marbles. What are they, what do they call these things? Gems, glass gems. We're gonna, and they're flat. So you gotta make sure you're not using marbles because it will not work. Um, you might have a hard time sticking them onto the glass. So you gotta make sure that these are the flat ones. We're gonna start by just gluing the flat side, just a little bit of glue. And there's no particular order. I'm just gonna go all the way around the bowl. You wanna pay attention to creating um, an even line, even spacing, even width all the way throughout the um, process. So here's the finished product. And while it's very pretty, it is not exactly my aesthetic. You can leave it like this if you like. Um, but I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm going to spray paint this a nice matte shade. Now, something you wanna consider before I go and spray paint it, um, with the glue gun, you are left with these little strings, like almost like little hairs. Before you spray paint or paint, you wanna make sure that you remove, you can take a toothpick or something really fine and kind of go in inside there and just kind of pull out those as much as you can. If it's an, if it's not possible, don't worry about it, but you really wanna catch um, all of those little hairs that are in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean mine up and then we're gonna take it um, into the garage and spray paint it. Okay, so I just brought the vase out and I put a little planter thingy just to, so that I can get the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you um, elevate it when you're spray painting it. All right, so here we go. I'm using 